Happy New Year from me, Tony from Hack the Movies. And what a very special New Year's Day we have because we're talking about Dracula 2000. Does it really have scream-like thrills and Matrix-like action? Let's find out in this episode of Talking About Tapes. Tapes with talk, talking, talk, talking, talking about tapes. Now, I know some of you are looking at who's in the store and you're wondering what this liar and deceiver is doing here. Well, Joey C, recently on Patreon, I covered a movie called Deadly Games. Oh. It may or may not have been ripped off by Home Alone. Wow. And I did that episode with the real Santa Claus. That's right, the real Santa Claus. And he told me for Christmas, he wants me to forgive you. Whoa! For not being manly and then for lying to me during the Mrs. Doubtfire episode. So, so you forgive me? If you pro I want your New Year's resolution to be in the upcoming year to be more manly and not lie. No lying, very manly. Big man over here. Very manly. Okay. Extremely. No problem. I can right. do this. And then we're hopefully we'll have a good year. Because you know, you kinda you kinda threw a monkey wrench in boys month, okay? That was a mistake. <sighs> Okay, and then you embarrassed me at the haunted house. No, man. I was so manly in that haunted house when I grabbed you and forced you to face your fears and definitely wasn't using you as a human shield. Okay, uh, so yeah, that all is forgiven for now. But Thank don't you, you ever deceive me again. <laughs> I never will, I promise. <laughs> or I will hold a grudge, much like Dracula does in Dracula 2000, <laughs> which I realize now is not a New Year's movie. I think it came out around New Year's, but it's, it's, there's no New Year's in the movie. No, the closest thing is Mardi Gras, and yeah. I don't even know when that is. I guess I was, and I've already reviewed this movie, I guess I was not really like, confusing it, but I thought it did the same thing as uh, End of Days with Arnold Schwarzenegger, oh, yeah, where the sure. New Year's would play into it, but it really doesn't. No, not in the slightest. You're right, it, actually, it's Mardi Gras. <laughs> this should have been a Mardi Gras it episode. It should have been, yeah, absolutely. I really screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> but I really wanted to talk about Dracula 2000. Were you familiar with this movie? No, I've never even heard of it. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. this was a ride, man. So this was during the Wes Craven Presents era, like Wishmaster and a couple other movies, because uh, he was on fire with Scream, so they were throwing his name on other things. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I remember seeing advertisements for it and being like, Dracula in the year 2000? gotta see that uh i ended up not seeing it in theaters uh but i remember renting it or my mom rented it uh, when it came out on video i remember watching it thinking it was really cool and then a few years ago i was actually in new orleans okay uh when i came back this just happened to be on tv and i forgot about it and as i was watching it i'm like oh man this is very dated this is a very dated <laughs> yes. movie um so i've only seen it twice the, it, back in the day, and then when I watched it uh, a few years back, I really found myself enjoying it. As ridiculous as it is... It's like a fucking time capsule. Yeah. It really um, is. And then I watched it the other night uh, on beautiful VHS, by the way, which I got at Crypt Video Rentals, wow. the event that they had. Wow. Follow them to look for more upcoming events. I think they have one this month, in the month of January wow. 2024, beautiful. which is... The month that we are in and yes. the year that we are in right now. Of course. Um, by the way, I want you to look for the hot Dracula 2000 soundtrack, according to the back of the box. The hot <laughs> Dracula? All yeah. right. Um, yeah. I watched it the other night, and I was just like, I think I kind of love this movie. <laughs> I think I kind of love this movie. And it's getting me excited because the director, Patrick Lucier, who I, or Lucier, I think he ended up doing, did he end up doing Terminator 5? That's what I thought, yeah. He returned for Dracula 2 and 3. They dropped the 2000 title for the direct -to video yeah. sequel. Because then the sequel came out in like 2003, I think. Yeah. So that would have made like sense. It's like Dracula 2 Ascension, Dracula 3 Legacy. People think Dracula 3000 is a sequel to Dracula 2000. That is a very completely different movie that we might talk about one day. I can see how the confusion lies. So apparently... Uh, Bob Weinstein, he approached the director, uh, who I think was an editor on the Scream movies, mm. um, 
And he basically asked him to do a movie called Dracula 2000. And from what I'm reading here, he asked him what the movie was about. And the Bob Weinstein went, I don't know. <laughs> Got so they it. had a writer on it, um, but apparently the script sucked. So they brought Scott Derrickson in. Oh, who would go on. He did a lot of things with Dimension. Yes. He would go on to do like, you know, Marvel movies and stuff. And they polished the script and they rewrote it two weeks before it went into production. No. According to Derrickson here, Weinstein thought the script was terrible, but was moving forward with production regardless. When asked Derrickson why he was making the movie, Weinstein replied, because it's called Dracula 2000. <laughs> I mean, why not? You hear that title and you're like, yeah. Yeah, literally. literally. That's exactly my response when you told me that. I was like, all right. I can and do apparently this. they were um, inspired by kind of the Hammer Horror films because there is that Dracula AD 1972 when Dracula yeah. comes to the modern day. That's hip, man. Uh, 1972. Not as cool of a year title as 2000. No, man. 2000 just. Mm. Yeah, you need the zeros in the thing yeah. to make it really cool. Um, so, yeah, uh, they really rushed this one out. <laughs> By the way, is he even credited on the back? I don't even think they even say his name on the back. Well, I'm going to have you read it in a second. Okay. But Gerard Butler was brought in like two days before the movie went on. I saw his, it popped up on YouTube, his, uh, his audition tape. Yeah. I'm not the evil you think I am. It's crazy to think Gerard Butler's in this. They obscure his face on the cover and the side. They don't put his name because he was kind of a no one. Then. Yeah. Uh, that was the biggest shock when I watched it a few years ago. I'm like, oh, shit, Gerard Butler is Dracula. <laughs> uh, but it's got a lot of other big actors. Dude, yeah, this movie is loaded. Loaded. With actors. Um, and yeah, you know what? I'm going to have you read the box. All right. I can do this. I've trained. Let's talk about this tape. The first thing I'll say is on the front, it says Hip and Happening. Ooh. Should that be the name of the thing? Yeah. Is Strike the 2000 Hip and Happening? Yeah, absolutely. Is it still Hip and Happening? Yeah. 19th century chills terrify the 21st century. The master of modern horror, Wes Craven, presents this riveting adaptation. When a team of techno-savvy thieves break into a high-security vault, they don't discover priceless works of art. They find a crypt unopened for a hundred years. Suddenly, the ancient terror of Dracula is unleashed, and his first destination is America, and the exotic city of New Orleans. Ooh, it's right. very ex I've been to New Orleans, it's very exotic. Very exotic, alright. A place where he feels right at home. Not far behind, however, is a vampire hunter from London determined to save a young woman with whom Dracula shares his dark legacy with. Wow. Wow. That is just absolutely gorgeous. You didn't read any of the actors' names. I can't read names. I'm not I'm not good with names. Well, let's talk about the cast since you <laughs> skipped over it, you <laughs> asshole. Um All Star cast. Johnny Lee Miller from Hackers Dude. and Train Spotting. Justine Waddle. She's now retired. She's yes. like the main girl. She she yeah. did a few things, but she's retired. I figured. She's pretty cute. She's, she's more very things. cute. Gerard Butler, Dude, obviously. Heavy hitter, man. And then, at the time, oh my God, the insanely hot Jennifer Esposito. Dude, unreal. Dude, like, like I still know you did last summer, this, Master of Disguise, which was a garbage movie, but goddamn, she was so fucking hot. Smoke show in that movie. Um, Christopher Plummer. <laughs> Dude, unreal. <laughs> Yeah, Christopher Plummer had a crazy career. He was in like, <laughs> yeah. a lot of good movies, but he was also in like just a ton of schlock. Yeah. At some point, I got to talk about uh, oh god, what was it called Laser Blast or Star Star Blast? Star was it Star Blast? Yeah. I think it's Star Blast, the Italian Star Wars yep. movie. Colleen Ann Fitzpatrick. Does that name sound familiar? That does sound familiar. You but might I can't know think... her better as Vitamin C. Oh, the singer of Vitamin C. Wow, that was before your time, Joey. Wow, C. Wow, <laughs> I have Spotify. It's all right. <laughs> you should marry her, and then she could still be Vitamin C. <laughs> <laughs> A convicted sex offender, Danny Masterson. Yeah. I... <laughs> In the face-off episode, I believe I had to call him a ledge. Yes, because it didn't go through yet. Uh, Jerry Ryan from Star Trek. Uh, Lachlan Monroe, who was um, in Freddy vs. Jason, yep. which we reviewed in October. Save the Last Dances and Halloween Resurrections. Sean Patrick Thomas. Yep. 
has Trick. <laughs> Omar Epps? Because Mark is... I don't know who Tony Munk is. He nah. doesn't have a link. Um, <laughs> Shane West is in there for a second. Yep. Nathan Fillion, who was added in reshoots. He wasn't even in the original movie. <laughs> they did reshoots, and they're like, wait, hey, we got to add some seeds to this. So they drug out poor Nathan Fillion. Nice. Uh, and then Tom Kane as an anchor band. Um, yeah, let's, let's go through this wonderful film. It starts off with uh, the Demeter. The uh, the last voyage of the Demeter, not to be confused with the film, the yep. last voyage of the Demeter. Of course, <clears throat> uh, this one is correct. The captain is tied up to the steering wheel, unlike the new movie, which is completely inaccurate. They tie him up and then they untie him, and it's like, no, it. Watch the movie dumpster review I did. That movie almost had it. It almost had it. It fumbled it at the end, Joey. See, all you needed to do, you could do whatever you want in the middle. It just needed to be bookended by what happened in the book, and it would be an instant classic. And they fumbled it. <laughs> anyway. Um, and it has knockoff Gladiator music. Yep. I like Marco Beltrami, but this does sound a lot like Gladiator. Yeah, for sure. Classic story. The ship sinks and whatnot, or, cra or drifts into the harbor. Yep. I do like the touch of, like, the demon looking footprints in the sand. Yeah, that was pretty cool. In, yeah, turning into like human footprints. And then the water comes up and he races. Yeah, it. that was cool. cool. That was really cool. Dracula enters foggy London town and then it flashes forward. Then we get early 2000s. Jennifer Esposito as Selena, but spelled S O L I N A. Hmm. I know. I kept wanting to spell it like the Batman character. Yeah, me it really too. Bother me. She works for, uh, well, she's. Working with Simon Shepard, who's uh, Johnny Lee or Jason Lee Miller's character, uh, and he's showing off a cool crossbow. And you're oh, like, yeah. And you know what he does that pisses me off? What? I need to talk about this. Yeah. He dry fires the crossbow. I've never held a crossbow, mm. but when I took archery in gym class, they said the number one rule is do not dry fire it because it yeah. ruins a crossbow. Yeah. And this guy pulls out an ancient relic of a crossbow, probably worth a hundred thousand dollars, and he dry fires it. What an amateur! What a noob! <sighs> oh, I don't know anything about archery, Joey. Singh. No, I'm manly. You know, you'll learn one day. I don't know because, like, ten years back, archery become a became a chick thing with the Hunger Games and Hannah and whatnot. <sighs> Now I see it as a very feminine thing. No, I don't do it anymore. Oh, okay, good, good, yeah. good, good. I'm good, just good, saying, good. like, back when it was manly, I did it all the time. Oh, yeah. okay. Every okay. Saturday morning, drink your coffee and shoot the Because, you know, Hawkeye's now a lady. Yeah, you know. I, and then I they, like they canceled saying. Arrow, and they were going to do a Lady Arrow show. Thank God they stopped that, but, you know, it's just... Good thing. Just get rid of your bow and arrows. It's not manly. <laughs> He's talking to Van Helsing. Uh, Matthew Van Helsing? Is that his name? Yeah. Yeah. And he's the great, great grandson of Abraham Van Helsing. And he's like, how did my father end up in that Irishman's book? <laughs> That's crazy. Yep. Uh, you also find out that Selena turned down Simon. Yeah. Or like they hooked up and now she's turning him down. Yeah, she said like, because he said something like, well, you didn't, where was that rule last week when she said she didn't date coworkers? So oh, I'm just yeah. assuming she was hooking up with somebody else from the office and this guy was feeling oh. FOMO, you know? <sighs> Poor women. Poor Simon. You know? Uh, so yes, um, afterwards, Omar Epps and his crew led by, in, 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 first it's uh, Save the Last Dance. I'm just going to call him Save the Last <laughs> <Yeah>. Dance. <laughs> He shows up with his British accent, and he, like, uh, breaks in there. He's like, there's a security problem. And he's like, we don't have a problem. He's like, you do now. <laughs> Boom, baby. So all these guys break in, and then Danny Masterson is dressed like he's in the Matrix. <laughs> yeah, he is. It's like, oh. I'm like, that's right, 2000. You know, it does have, it. Does, this movie does have Matrix-like action. Yeah, for sure. Because that's what Dracula was missing. We yeah. need, one, Dracula needed kung fu scenes but they needed specifically matrix <laughs> kung fu scenes you know um so yeah they kill the security guards and they break into the vault using hacker skills i'm gonna hack into the mainframe it's just always funny seeing those like late 90s graphics where yeah. they show on the computer screen it's yeah so <laughs> cheesy it's like password encryption because there's something in that vault he's protecting something that van helsing uh, turns out Selena's in on it. Mm. I do like when they go into the vault. It's like a big cave, and there's just like vampire skulls everywhere. Yeah, and they're like they don't even think 
twice yeah, about it. They're like, what's with these skulls? Where's the money? And it's like, no one's going to point out that they all have weird fangs. Like, I'm not saying I'd be scared, right? Because I'm a man, right? Yeah. But if I was in a situation where I was being scared, mm -hmm. it was a dark situation, kind of like a haunted attraction. Yes. Right? You know, I would have fucking flipped man yeah i would have flipped i would have turned around forget the jewels man what about my sanity i know you're scared because in that haunted house i there, there was this big dark maze full of tarps <laughs> and i mean i figured it out easily and i was calling to you to make sure you could find your way and i definitely didn't get lost and i went joey find my voice i don't know where i am it's the only reason I could find you is because you were screaming. Well, you know, you know, it, we got separated because some, I don't know why, but someone kept saying your name in the haunted house and all the actors wanted to single that you out. That chick had me pinned up against the wall. I was like, good Lord. This yeah. Is uh, it for me. A, a girl who was like an adult baby and a giant teddy bear. They like yelled at me and told me to leave Joey behind. <laughs> And I'm pinned up against the wall thinking, this is it. This is it. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm fucking dead, and I man. got lost in that me. <laughs> it was bed sheets. I was so and like, we I'm got like, lost. I don't know where I am. <laughs> anyway, if you had just been more manly and ran out of that That's room, right. we would have figured it out That's earlier. Right. And stop giving your name out <laughs> at these haunted houses. <laughs> So, yeah, they're like, what the hell, Selena? Where's all the money and jewels? And they're like, it's just furniture and weird stuff and a coffin. They're like, okay, it's got to be something in this coffin. If there's crosses and skulls, it's trying to scare us. We need to figure out something in here. And then uh, we cut to Van Helsing, who's injecting blood from leeches. Yep. Very gross scene. Yes. I, I have a question on how he's getting the leeches later on but we'll we'll confront that when we okay get to it. yes so yeah he's putting vampire blood in him we don't know why at the moment and then he just throws the leech in the fire it's like oh can you not reuse those yeah all right never not. mind <laughs> then we find out that the coffin is booby trapped <sighs> brutal yeah one, oh, guy, shit. one guy slides it and the blades come down and the other dude falls against the wall and more blades shoot through him and he's on a door. Oh my <laughs> a God. door comes down. Yeah, like, the guy gets sandwiched between them. I'm like, Christ, man. Uh, Van Helsen does not want this coffin out here. Probably because there's a Dracula in it. I would, I would imagine so. <laughs> um, so I do like that the alarms go off and Christopher Plummer's like, oh no. And he's got like a gun like room. Like some stuff. men in black shit. Like the mirror the vanity thing opens. And he's like loading up and getting ready. He's like, yeah, I'm a badass. It's like, you know, what? he doesn't act like he doesn't freak out. If he was guarding Dracula, you think he'd freak out. But the guy's yeah. like, oh, now is my time. And he just loads the fucking gun <laughs> and just casually walks down there like James Bond. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah, he doesn't have like a security. Well, I guess the security died. Well, the guards died, but he doesn't have like a security force or like vampire hunters he can call. <laughs> yeah, a team of vampire <laughs> yeah. hunters. I would just like, I mean, I would, uh, I guess it's nighttime. I would have like something in there that would stop a Dracula, like the like a sunroof that would open. Oh, that's. But if it's nighttime, dude. that doesn't really work. You see, if yeah, but you could have like overhead lights. It's true, right? It's true. See, UV if you lights. had Dracula, yeah, Dracula would never get out, right? Dracula would be sealed tight under Tony's control. Exactly. Wow. He wouldn't want to leave because he enjoys my company. That's so much. what I'm saying. Yeah, because you're so famous, dude. <laughs> So famous and man. We've actually had Dracula on the show a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, they like blow a hole in the wall that leads to like a sewer. It's real convenient, I guess. Yeah, there's like a weak wall, like in a video game. Uh, they're like, yeah, yeah like we can blow Zelda through this bomb. wall. It's like Christopher Plummer didn't think to reinforce that fucking wall. They must have studied the like the sewer layouts. They they were these thieves were prepared. I'll give them that. They knew their shit. They they, their they shit. did know their shit. Um, yeah. Van Helsing is too late. But I like when he goes into like the vault area and the guy is still hung up on the door and then the door like retracts and yeah. he's still attached to it. I'm like, that's pretty fucking yeah. funny. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and then we meet Mary and Lucy. Lucy Western Rose. Okay, so so Dracula happened. The book we assume happened. In universe. Except for the part where 
Dracula fee flees back to Transylvania. I guess that part didn't happen in this universe. I agree. But Van Helsing exists, and he's from the book. But then all these other characters have names of characters from the book. And I'm like, are these their descendant? Is this Lucy's descendant from the book? You know what? You may be onto something Because there's there. a Dr. Seward later, who is the guy who runs the asylum, huh. Renfield. Yeah. Is. But I'm like, are they descendants? Or did they just, did they want to throw more Dracula names in? And why now I'm you, confused. And why wouldn't you put Quincy in this? <clears throat> Quincy always gets left out. I and mean, I talked about yes. this in the Bram Stoker's Dracula episode. Quincy always gets left out. And he's the fucking guy who kills Dracula Literally. in the book. The American, by the way. <laughs> the American is the one who kills Dracula. And he always gets written out of all these adaptations. Every single one of them. And dude. here you got a Dracula movie taking place in America. That's not called Blade Trinity. Uh, and you have a chance to... Put all these characters like put Quincy in there. I know they they fumbled that one so bad. And he's in the South. Yeah, like he's in <laughs> yeah. New Orleans. I mean, it's not like Texas, but you know what I mean. Like ah, that irks me. Put him in Nashville. Yeah. <laughs> him in Nashville. <laughs> I gotta go back to now. I love New Orleans and I hate it, Nashville. Dude, I've never been to Nashville, but New Orleans is fucking awesome. Man. New Orleans is great, dude. Yeah, I had exotic a is right. I had a fun time in that town. Dude, me too. Wholesome. Wholesome, yes. of course. <laughs> right. I, uh, when I worked on an old TV show, um, we shot a lot in New Orleans. So I was there. There was one summer where I was like down there for like a month. That's and then awesome. like a few weeks afterwards. So I had a lot of fun adventures. <laughs> yeah. um, I love Louisiana. I brought this up on, episode, on other episodes. You're the worst drivers I've ever seen. It, okay, I'll stand behind. Whenever that. we left New Orleans to film somewhere else, it was just a million accidents. I saw a bridge on fire because someone crashed into a bridge. Maybe that's something to do with the drive-through daiquiris. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but the actual city of NOLA was really, really fun. Um, I noticed something interesting, and I might have mentioned this before. During the day, there's all these charming hipsters. Really? I remember these girls, like, really fawning over this, like, shirtless guy playing guitar. And then at night... Turns out those charming hipsters are actually homeless. And I saw that same guy eating out of a no. trash can. <laughs> I'm like, oh, man, those poor girls. They, they almost went home with that guy. Well, they couldn't go home with that guy. They yeah. almost brought that guy home. <laughs> I want to go to New Orleans again. We're doing a Hack the Movies New Orleans trip. We're doing it. I didn't get to go to the casino when I was there. Oh, that's sad. I was right down from the casino. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, they're in New Orleans, and I think they're there because Interview with the Vampire did well. Yep, that's they're exactly like, let's just why. Put them in the same one thousand. <laughs> it's the same reason Vampire Diaries did the same thing. <laughs> I don't know what it is, man. I think it's because like life is cheap down there, <laughs> and you can get away with anything, and there's all this crime. Ooh, who would have thought a place uh, a place in America that imported a bunch of Italians would have crime? I'm who knew? Pff, unbelievable. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> Not us. Apparently, we caused a lot of problems there. They tried to take care of us anyway. Well, yeah. <laughs> and not the good kind of taking care. Of these. <laughs> it wasn't us, okay? No, it's it never just us. It's just our It's never us. We're always led astray. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so, yeah, I like that Simon's just like, but Van Helsing, why don't we just call the police? <laughs> People are dead. We should probably call the police. <laughs> and he's like, no, my stuff was acquired illegally. <laughs> And then if I'm Simon, I'm just like, okay, there's like CP down there, or you're, uh, you're oh, yeah, or you're sure. trafficking humans, and yeah. now I don't feel comfortable. One thousand. I I would want to be like, can you do me a favor? What kind of illegal are we talking about? <laughs> like, there's different levels of legality that we need yeah. to like cover first. Did you steal from the rich, or are you screwing over the government? I'm on board with those. Yeah, same. I'm on board with those. Not even stealing from the rich. You could steal from pretty much anyone. I'm like, I can, I can justify. When you start trafficking humans, I'm like, oh, I don't know, buddy. You got to tell me what exactly is illegal down here <laughs> before I get in trouble. Yeah. I'm like, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, instead, Simon's like, he's up to something. Yep. I should follow him. Because <laughs> uh, he sees he's got his passport. So of he's course. Leaving. Yeah. So Danny Masterson is still trying to open up the safe. Uh, he accidentally cuts his hand, which then goes into the coffin. And gets sucked in. Magically, I yep, guess. I don't know. Is he able to open it yet? No, he's. I don't think he's able to open it yet. But no, like fog the fog starts. comes out and then. Yeah, and here I thought like the fog would come out and Dracula would be there, but no. 
Well, it's here's just, the thing. He the fog comes out and he's like, hmm, I better investigate this. I would have got my ass out of there. By the way, did you like that real obvious green screen? Oh, it was so bad. I was just it like was so bad. Like, oh man, I know rotoscoping's a bitch, but this looks bad. Yeah, like, it, it was bad. The real fog would have been fine, but they wanted like a tentacle fog. And I'm they, like, well, that's the thing, because when they when the fog formed into like the shape behind him, mm. I thought that that's where Dracula was going to come out of. Yeah. And then nothing happened, and I was like, well, no. what the fuck's the point of that? Um, also, Mary was having like dreams of Dracula. Yeah, we forgot to mention that. Yeah, he's got like the iron mask on. Yep. From Man in the Iron Mask, I guess. Yeah, so that's he's right. Like freaking out. And she's like, she has like a psychic connection with it's giving me like a seizure with all the flash frames <laughs> in this. Uh, but yeah, the coffin is opened and Dracula's covered in leeches. Dude, gross. Yeah. So gross. And yeah. your favorite scene is this one, man. <laughs> it's, I jumped out of my chair, man. Oh, there's an even worse one after this. I know. But yeah, I know a, leech, a leech jumps. Keep in mind, these are vampire leeches, I guess. Uh, and it goes right for Danny Masterson's eye. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Oh, dude. And then it shows him trying to pull it out of ah! his eye. Oh, I don't want to so feel gross. bad for a convicted sex offender. But I mean, I was just like, ah! Jeez, man. It's his <laughs> own fault because he opened the coffin. He turned the cross thing. So yeah, Danny Masterson, he gets attacked by a Dracula. So that was, that was a see that was a seamless transition. Yeah. We didn't make any jokes. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I kind of they don't really show Dracula too much in this form, the like demon kind of like dehydrated form, but it looks pretty cool. It does look the good. The effects were done by uh what was it Gary Tunacliffe mm. who worked on a lot of the Hellraiser movies doing effects and he ended up writing and then directing the last two Hellraiser movies. You know where you can learn more about Hellraiser, Joey C? I bet you I could take a guess. Where's that? Patreon.com slash act the movies. Yes, my cousin Monica and I, we reviewed every Hellraiser movie. Wow. Yes, on Patreon. We I put the first one up for free on YouTube. Free? Free. As you a sample. are generous. As a sample, I wow. wanted you guys to get a sample of it and see where that journey goes. Now, I know what you're thinking, Joey. Donate, donate. Donate. I don't have time to like donate two dollars every month to enjoy all these Hellraiser movies. Right? Maybe I don't have time to watch all like nine episodes in one month, and I got to donate another two dollars. Well, guess what? For eight dollars, I believe you could buy one long video containing every single episode. I even threw in the the remake one, wow. just so it's complete. So you don't even have to become a patron. You just buy that video. What? You are a generous and genius man, Tony. I try. Wow. I try. Anyway, we got to get back to this. Of course. So yeah, Dracula kills Danny. Big time. Uh, and then Save the Last Dance comes in. <laughs> yeah. He gets killed next. Dracula does the thing where he comes down from the top and bites his throat and blood shoots all over the Yeah, it's the, so, the so dramatic. Um, and then Dracula digitally transitions into a young man. Honestly, it didn't look that bad. It didn't look that bad. Uh, and Because I've seen a lot of those transition <laughs> yeah. effects, and yeah. they can look really bad. But there was even some movement with the hand, too, when it was transitioning. Yeah. And it looked really good. Yeah. I actually, really enjoyed it. Not every effect holds up in this, no. but it, more than I, more of the effects held up than I thought they would. I was pleasantly surprised with the effects. Yeah. Especially when uh, an effects-heavy movie toward the end of the 90s. It's either going to be, like, really good, like yeah. um, Tomorrow Never Dies, Titanic. Of course. Uh, some of those movies. Or it's going to be, like, Spawn <laughs> or Species <laughs> or <laughs> like, or a couple of those movies. It's a real hit or miss with the 90s. The 90s were, like, a golden age of special effects, but there were some duds in there. Yeah. <laughs> Batman and Robin. Uh, Are you kidding me? That's a classic. Good Lord. He hypnotizes Selena. Yeah. I guess hypnotizing ladies is one of his powers. Oh, you've never seen Vampire Diaries, then. That's a big thing, man. Huge thing. Yeah, Joey, you want to ask me why I haven't watched Vampire Diaries? Well, I would. I, the reason I haven't watched this because it's a real ladies show. You know, it's for the gals. Yeah, you know, I, I'm a say, manly man. I watch, you know, you know, Man vs. Wild and stuff. Yeah, like I was that, watching but. manly vampire shows like True Blood. Mm, Thank you yes, very much. Course. Very True manly. Blood. Yes, super manly. Um. Yes. Uh. No, I didn't watch Vampire Diaries. It's pretty good. Nina Dobrev's in it. Smoke show. 
And I've had a crush on her since Degrassi, which I didn't choose to watch. No, of course. You were probably watching it with like a very beautiful girlfriend of yours, <laughs> I would imagine. But she was okay. <laughs> uh, no, there actually there was a weird phase of my life where like I kept like I never went out of my way to watch Degrassi. Right. But there were like three girlfriends I had spaced out between a couple years and they would all like watch Degrassi. So like every couple of years I would be getting back into the grassy and like <laughs> binging to catch it up. Yeah. with some new chick. I'm like, oh, what's Holly J up to now? <laughs> Holly J. And then it's always like as soon as I break up, I'm just like, I have no desire to watch the grass and I haven't watched it since. The I just one. know like somebody in the comments is gonna be like they're gonna yell at your pronunciation of Degrassi. Because I said Degrassi. <laughs> Remember the band was called the Studs, but their yeah. Canadian accent called it the <laughs> Studs. Yeah. This dude sucks without me. <laughs> Bad. Dude, we are so off topic in this episode. It's amazing. <laughs> it's so <laughs> <on> Degrassi. <laughs> Degrassi, the next generation. I didn't watch the original. I no. tried. I just couldn't get into it. Yeah, that. no. Next generation is where it's at. It's not the that opposite I know. of Star Trek, right? I like your original series, not the next generation. For Degrassi, it's the opposite. It's I like completely the opposite. Me too. <sighs> Did you expect Degrassi to get brought up? <laughs> Did you expect me to know so much about Degrassi between the years 2006 and 2012? I didn't. <laughs> but Nina Dobrev was in there, like, toward the tail end yes, of the She was yes. the pregnant girl. She had yep. the baby. God, she's amazing. Yeah, I follow her uh, Instagram. I don't watch any of her movies because they're pretty garbage. No, of course. We yeah, did that one, usual. The In-Laws. Yes, The In-Laws. And she like, or no, The Outlaws. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. She's, like, yeah. barely in it. That yeah. was a letdown. Anyway, so they use a lot of his powers from the books. Mm-hmm. A lot of movies kind of keep out because Dracula has a whole lot of powers yeah. in the book. Very inconsistent too. Yeah, he doesn't use material. them consistently. But I like that uh, the dude shoots a hole in the cabin of the plane. Don't do that. Yeah, <laughs> don't. Never. I know you're trying to stop a Dracula, but you literally have no solution after that. You're dead. <laughs> yeah, you're done. For some reason, like I don't know how realistic the whole suction is, but I feel like it should be a little bit more chaotic than it is. Yeah, because it's it, like nothing in the movie. It's yeah. just like, it just yeah, shows so like a, a real beam static of light screen. hits Dracula, and he's like, ah. And I was expecting the dude to start blowing all the windows out. Yeah. And stuff. <laughs> um, but then Dracula's like, ah, I got it. I'm going to summon a storm. I'm like, he could just you do that all the time. <laughs> yeah, literally. That would solve all your problems right there. Yeah. If that's it, it, like, it seems like he could be out in the day as long as it's not direct sunlight. That's a, yeah, he like should some, do that. Like some plants, you know, partial sunlight, of shade. Uh, right. Yeah, uh, Dracula is like a plant. Apparently, <laughs> he could do sunlight, just not direct sunlight. You're gonna burn those leaves. Um, I worked at a garden center at one point. Wow, I hated it. Anyway, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, so he summons a storm. I'm like, that's pretty cool. That's yeah, that pretty, is, that's, that's a pretty awesome. cool idea. And yeah. he crashes the plane. It's like emo tap and yeah, or yeah, 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 yeah. And everyone dies. Yep. So Mary works at the Virgin Record Store. So nineties. <laughs> it's so it is 90s, very nineties. Like oh, the Virgin Record yeah. Store. It's. I know product placement is always a thing that will always exist, but that late nineties, early two thousand, it was like not subtle at yeah, all. Not at all. It was like oh wow, you really want me to go to the Virgin Record? What was it? Uh. Little Nikki with Popeye's chicken. Oh, yeah, Popeye. This chicken is fucking awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, I feel like we're distracting from the movie a little bit. I mean, you could be in the Virgin Record store, but they're like, I know they're employees, but they're like wearing the shirts before they go to work. Oh, yeah, she was like, wearing just, it as like a pajama. Yeah, shirt just or reminding you that the Virgin Record, those even exist anymore? I don't think so. It'd be funnier if it was Tower Records. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, uh, Mary, again, is psychically linked, so she sees Dracula. And actually, the way that she's kind of communicating, where she's in her location, he's in his, and they're cutting back to forth, and they kind of interact, is a lot like how Rey and Kylo Ren talk in The Last Jedi. And I think this proves that Ryan Johnson uh, just steals other people's work, and that just make, that's another reason he's a terrible Star Wars director. Wow. And Johanna should be ashamed to have that porn tattoo. She's supporting a man who rips off superior films. I completely agree. For his inferior Star Wars film. Wow. That's unacceptable. 
No, I really was watching. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, son of a bitch. You think Ryan Johnson watched this movie? Because this is how they communicate Literally, in that yeah, film. Exactly. <laughs> Ooh. What's your favorite Star Wars movie? I would say Return of the Jedi, probably. I thought you said you'd never seen one. No, I, I've seen them now, because I have to do screenwriting videos on them now. <laughs> Did you watch the real versions of the film? Uh, not the, uh, No, unfortunately, I've only seen the re-releases. So I don't know the magic of uh, well, I hope original some releases. some handsome Italian man out there will send you the despecialized edition. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, yeah. So I do like the scene of, like, vitamin C walking through Dracula. Mm. But the weird thing is, like, she reacts to it. And the next scene, she's like, hey, what's up? Yeah, I know. It's yeah, like, she just, just does this whole thing like that. I'm, I'm like, like did, you, did you feel walking through Dracula or not? <laughs> what's going on there? Um, you get, like, a cool mist as she walks through. Yeah. I'm like, come on. <laughs> uh, Mary vents to her friend, Nathan Fillion. Does he end up dying in this? I think he just has a couple scenes. Yeah, and I don't think he shows back up. Yeah. After well, that's what happens scenes. when you shoehorn an actor in <laughs> last minute. Yep, I agree. Uh, but yeah, she's just like, Father, I spiritually feel sad. And like, keep in mind, her mom died previously before this. Uh, so yeah, he's trying to console her and it's like, well, thanks for stopping by, Nathan Fillion. That was the thing I couldn't believe when I was watching. I'm like, Nathan Fillion's in this? That's so goofy. <laughs> Um, she's sitting there begging him to tell her stuff, and like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, I think that's, that's a little happen. bit later. Like, she's prying a little bit, and later she goes a little, oh, harder. yeah, and then later, yeah, she yeah. goes way overboard. Uh, and then we get uh, Jerry Ryan who wants to make sure her tits look good. And let me tell you, they do, <clears throat> yep. they do. That's wild. Uh, she's a reporter. Um, I like that she's covering the uh, very obvious CGI plane crash. <laughs> yeah, it's so bad. <laughs> the plane is like very digitally composite. I'm like, okay. I mean, it's only on screen for a second. That's fine. Yeah, just seeing what <laughs> she's wearing, I just imagine like all the news anchors from my town. I'm like, <laughs> dude, imagine if they wore that on screen now. <laughs> dude, like, come on, man. What is she and reporting? Thank God that they're playing this news story. Just as Van Helsing's walking into New Orleans. Why did he know it was New Orleans? Like, why did he assume it was going to go there? I forget. And why is the TV with the sound on in the yeah. airport? Like, you ever been to a gym with a TV? The sound is never on. No, ever. no. You're never going to hear it. You know how busy that airport is? It's yeah. silly. So Good stupid. Lord. But thank God it's playing because he's like, now I know what town to go to. Good thing. And he's being stalked by Simon. Yep. Um, I do like this camera scene. Uh, where I guess she's reporting on it again. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Uh, and again, she's just like, how do the tits look? Um, but oh, I'm like, and then, wait, what does she say? She says, like, turn me on at 11 or something. I'm like, dude, that is the best fucking Yeah, she keeps line fucking up ever. her lines. Um, I feel bad Jerry Ryan, like, didn't really break out into, like, mainstream stuff. She yeah, was really good. She was yeah. good. I mean, she does the Star Trek. She does a lot of sci-fi stuff. But, um. It would have been nice to see her as like a mainstream actor. Yeah, but, I mean, she's doing good for herself. She was in that terrible Picard show. That's true. It'd Which be I nice think. to see her, you know, in many ways. <laughs> she was Sonya Blade <laughs> in that Mortal Sonya Kombat Blade. TV yeah. show that they didn't like continue. Um, so, yeah, uh, Shane West is there as the cameraman, who I thought was Timothy Oliphant for a second because they kind of oh, look alike. Oh, okay, yeah. But I like this scene because they're doing the whole thing with like reflections so cameras don't count. That was cool as shit. Yeah, yeah where I she's really like, liked that. Cool. That was a super cool scene. I that was that. really cool. And then I love when she like goes into the van and she's looking at the monitor and that guy's oh, being yeah. like lifted into the air. It's like some paranormal activity. Yeah, scene yeah. He's like being lifted up. That was awesome. That was a really cool scene. Yeah, I loved tense it. Tense scene. Uh, so yeah, now he's got two ladies by his side, oh, I guess. Yeah. And of course, Mary has another breakdown. Yep. She leaves her job at the Virgin Record Store. She's like, I got to leave the Virgin Record Store. Our deals are the best. Bye. They should have gone even harder in the product. Yeah, place. they should have. Yeah, she didn't even tell a manager. She just tell her friend. Yeah, is Lucy the manager? Because she just got a bails on her. That's a conflict of interest, man. They're living together. That can't be happening. That's true. And luckily, it's only two women living together. I don't know if these laws were changed, but I at least when I was down there, like 2014, apparently, like multiple women. There's a limit on how many women can live together in New Orleans. No, this is what they were telling me because. It's a holdover from the old um, brothel days 
It was to crack down on brothels. Oh, no way. Yeah. That's some the, wild. Some of the local people there were telling me about that, but I never actually, fa- I mean, fact check me. Let me know how many women are allowed to live together in New Orleans. Wow. Uh, let me know if they were bullshitting. They might be pulling my chain. I they might, might be. Know. But hey, if any women live together and want to invite me and Tony over. Yeah, you know what? You know? The best way to prove it, if you're a bunch of uh, beautiful women living in a house, invite me and Joey C over. And well, you can prove to us that you're not a problem. Exactly, and we can just you know survey the area and yeah, know. yeah, yeah. We're Hang gonna out. make sure. I feel like that should be our job. We should just go into beautiful women's houses and be like, "You guys having any sex? Would you like some?" Yeah. Oh! <laughs> anyway, anyway, <clears throat> we're very respectful. Uh, of course. <laughs> Joe, you gotta start stop talking about sex stuff too. Much. I know, man. We gotta <laughs> chill. What's going on here, man? It's this new manly resolution. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like coming out, man. I can't stop it. All right. So Simon finally confronts Van Helsing. Uh or Van Helsing goes to the like gym where they have all the bodies from the um the crash. Yeah, I think it's like a town uh, like or a, a town city hall. hall yeah, or yeah, a town yeah. hall or something like that. So they're leaving them there. Uh I was for a minute. I'm gonna be like, "Where's the security?" And then it's revealed the security was all eaten. Yeah. But yeah, Van Helsing's there. Two of the body bags are empty. Simon shows up, and then Selena comes out of the bag, and it turns out she's a vampire. They're all vampires. Boom, baby. They try to shoot Danny Masterson, but it misses the heart. The blade goes. The the spike goes right through him. I do like Danny Masterson. Be like, I'm sorry, man. I don't know what's gotten yeah, over me. <laughs> and then like they shoot the shit out of him. They shoot like a million spikes, and he's like. Said I was sorry. <laughs> he, like dies. <laughs> There's obviously some like yeah. piece of personality left in these people. Like yes. they know what's happening, but they're just like they're too hungry. Man. Yeah. And then Omar Epps, Jesus Christ. So they're fighting, and he's got the blade. And when he pulls the blade out, I'm like, he's gonna stab him in the heart. Instead, he stabs him right in the eye, and I like literally jumped. I know. I jumped <laughs> off my seat. I was like, dude, no way. <laughs> Why do we review movies together that have to do with <laughs> eye injuries? Uh, there's so many eye injuries in movies that I don't like. <laughs> it's <laughs> awful, man. Um Simon can't bring himself to kill Selena. And she's very horny, by the way. Yeah, super horny. It's just like, you British guys, you Englishmen always wanna talk and be romantic and she's like I just want to sob <laughs> and I'm like that's ridiculous I love that yeah. uh, I think I would have just sat down right then and there <laughs> the girl is basically saying like you're trying too hard yeah. <laughs> so yeah they leave they leave her behind the cops come and take her in because she's like pinned to the wall yeah uh, but they leave and Van Helsing's like okay I'm the actual Van Helsing by the way and I hunt vampires, and I've been keeping Dracula prisoner, and now he's here looking for a lady. I don't think he tells her the full story about yeah. that yet. And he looks like shit. Yeah. Like, which he we're going to reveal why. Then there's the flashback of them trapping Dracula in an alleyway. Which was fucking awesome, man. Yeah, because yeah. he has, like, the mirror, and yeah. Dracula doesn't have a reflection, so he thinks Van Helsing's in front of him. That's pretty funny. Uh, so, yeah, they stabbed him a bunch. They didn't know how to kill him. Yes. They're like, we tried everything to kill him, and it just didn't work. So my best plan was to just lock him up forever. (laughs) Lock him up. Why not? Yep. Um, But he reveals that he's been keeping himself alive with leeches that suck Dracula's blood and filter it. So I guess that stops him from being a vampire if it's filtered through leeches. But here's my thing. Hmm. Does he go down there all the time, open up the coffin, take the leeches, and Dracula just doesn't wake up? Yeah, because the last time, the first time it was open in the movie, he jumps right out. Or was that because the guy who died when they were opening it the first time, blood got in the coffin? Is that it? Oh, that might be why. So maybe the blood woke him up, and maybe that's why he doesn't attack Van Helsing. He's just too weak. Oh, that's 1,000% why. Okay, but then he's just able to, like, generate blood without... Yeah, because eventually the like the supply is gonna go low. Yeah, you know, unless he sacrifices people. Now that would be stupid. That would be stupid, but you know, mm. just to keep himself alive. You I know. No. I don't know. There are a lot of holes in this Dracula stuff. Mm. <laughs> when he was being stabbed by the people who captured him, why didn't he turn to fog or bats and fly away? 
a lot of holes in the story. <laughs> you, you bring a good point. <laughs> yeah, what the hell is that? Um, but it's revealed that Mary is his daughter. Like his ex-wife found out what his secret was and she left him. But because he was taking Dracula blood, that kind of like life source was passed on to Mary, which is why she's psychically connected to Dracula. You know, it's technically incest. <laughs> it is a little bit. Dracula's being a little weird with her. Uh, because that's does... his blood. It you is. Uh, but he's not the father. It's very bizarre. You know, it's a complicated web that we're not going to dig Either too, way, the know. age discrepancy is problematic enough. A big time, <laughs> man. Dracula, he loves New Orleans. He's outside the Virgin Record Store watching a music video <laughs> It's the most, I don't know what that band is. I don't know either. I'm sure it's on the uh, hot soundtrack. Oh, of course. Yeah. We'll uh, but um, it's like this band that's just like, I love the devil and I like being bad and, and I doing like bad things. Tits and ass and stuff. I like sex <laughs> yeah. and murder. And then Dracula's like, it's the best song I've ever heard in my life. Dude, if I saw those girls dancing like that in those outfits on the street, I'd be like, Ooh. dude, you know what? This ain't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Selena is being questioned by a psychiatrist. <laughs> or no, no, by a detective yeah, and by the detective. psychiatrist, Dr. Seward. Um, and she's like doing vampire shit and they're not like, this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. She's like floating in the air. What the hell? And she can reveal that she can see through the mirror. Yep. She's like, I can see the outline of your cock through your pants. I about fell over when I heard this line. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you. And then he gives like a little smirk to him. Like, yeah, <laughs> same man. Um, but yeah, it turns out she could have escaped at any time. Yep. But she waited for Dracula to show up. Who She's just kills... toying with him. Yeah, he shows up. She punches through the mirror. Uh, they kill those guys. And then Dr. Seward, not very manly. No, not at all. Not it manly looked like they all. were going to spare him for a second. And he let out a girly shriek. And <laughs> Dracula was like... Yeah, what does he say? Like, not very classy or something? Or something dignity? Like... I think he says dignity. Yeah. That's like his first line in the movie, too. I think I it is, yeah. Dracula's like, be gone, you soy boy beta cuck. <laughs> <laughs> to quote a, uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, be gone, you soy boy beta cuck. And he kills Dr. Seward. <laughs> Can we remake this movie? <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> just do that. <laughs> Dracula's is real based. <laughs> be gone, soy. This is when he sees the music video. Earlier, it was he was just walking around and saw hot babes. Oh, okay, then he yeah. sees the music video. He walks in the store. All the ladies are drawn to him. I guess it is like True Blood. He can like gra glamour people to like be in love with him. Um, and one of these ladies is Lucy. And this is when she says her whole name, Lucy Westeros. It's yeah. Like, yeah, I, I know the character. Yeah, You're nothing on. like her. <laughs> yeah. Other than you kind of had red head and red hair and the girl and the Fritz for Coppola movie had red hair. That's yep. the only real Red, connection yeah, I'm getting. Exactly. Um, but she goes, uh, he's like, uh, do you know where Mary is? And she goes, uh, no, but if it's about music, I can help you. And I went, get it? Because she's vitamin C. <laughs> As we go on, we remember. Remember that song? God, I haven't heard that, that in a long time. That was vitamin time. C. Wow. They played that all the time. <laughs> I forget what her first big song was. I thought that was it. I thought that was the only hit song she had. No, I feel like she had a big song before that. And then the graduation song was like the big one. Mm. And then I guess she stopped. I don't know. Um, she was cute. She should have acted more. Dude, yeah, she was super fucking cute, yeah, man. Yeah, she wasn't that bad of an actress. And she was trying hard with Dracula. I'm like, dude, I wish a chick would try that hard with me. Yeah. Good Lord. I wish a chick would even half-ass it with me <laughs> or do anything at all, to be honest, Joey. See? I wish a woman would just look at me. <laughs> It'd be really nice. I hear it's really nice. So, yeah, she brings Dracula home. Dude, yeah. Man. That place might be a brothel. I don't know. <laughs> no, see, see, seriously, <laughs> seriously I'm starting to wonder there. Yeah. Now, who could forget the famous Dracula line, I never drink wine. I even quoted it in Mummy Cop. It's a very famous line. But you know what? 
That's Boomer Dracula. That yeah, is Boomer this Dracula. This is the Gen X Dracula. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, this Dracula 2000. He's not doing that old ass line. She's like, do you want coffee? He's like, I don't drink coffee. I saw that and I was like, boo. <laughs> <laughs> boo. <laughs> I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> they had to do it. What would it be now? I don't drink. Do you vape? I, I yeah. never vape. Sm I never drink White Claw. <laughs> <laughs> you want a White Claw? I don't drink seltzer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, they're uh, flying in the air having sex with each other. Uh, then we see vitamin C's boobs for like a second, <laughs> yeah. which I have to freeze frame. Do we see her boobs and her face at the same time? Is that a body double? Oh, it might be a body double. If it's a body double. I'm going to be very upset. Yeah, me too. Um, but yeah, we see them for a second. He kills her. Uh, and she's a vampire lady now. Honestly, there's, there's worse ways to go. Yeah, I guess you so. Know? I've, I've definitely had intercourse where I'm floating <laughs> in the air and. It feels like that, and then I wake up and realize my Xbox controller's next to me, and that's that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, what? What? What are we? What? So she dies. Yeah, she dies in a very gruesome way. <laughs> uh, Simon tries to convince Mary who he is and about his dad, because I think they split up. Uh, yeah, they do. Simon yeah. and Van Helsen. He's like, you, I'm going to go to her house. You hang out here. There's boobs up there, by the <laughs> way, because there's like everyone's taking their shorts off with yeah. the beads. Simon tries to convince Mary. She doesn't believe it. She's like, what the hell are you talking about? Get out of here. And then he gets into a fight with Omar Epps. <laughs> yep. They duke it out for a little bit. Again, it's very Matrixy. It it's is. It's very Matrixy. But his dialogue is actually like, it was, it was stupid at first, but I was yeah. like, oh, this is kind of fun. What does he say? I, I don't know. He just says, like, dumb shit. Yeah, like, he's a fun vampire. Yeah, I'm kind of sad they kill him. Yeah, me too. I actually wouldn't mind him being, like, the main vampire at some point. Eye for an eye, mate. I don't think he says anything memorable. It's yeah. just, like, the fact that he's just, like, talking he's while shit they're- He's shit-talking during it. I just like that. But I like that uh, he gets, like, stabbed, and then you think that's it, and then what's his face? Pulls out the knife and just beheads him, throws it in the dumpster. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I liked that. So yeah, Van Helsing goes to Mary's house, and he meets a Dracula instead. Uh, in a sweet way. Yeah, yes, real with the sweet mirror, way. yeah. That was pretty cool. A nice little callback. Yeah, I like uh, that. But yeah, Dracula's just like, you gave my blood to your daughter. Now she's mine. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sort of the moment. And then he dies. Yep. Mary goes home. She's like, Lucy, what's up? She's like, oh, wow, everything's destroyed. And then she finds her dad under the bed. She's like, oh, shit, my dad is dead. Yeah, I don't know why he was under the bed. Because yeah, when they sh first showed the sword through the mattress, I thought it was going to be her roommate, Mary, or whatever. Or yeah, not, wait, did he, uh, like, hide under the mattress? I don't know <laughs> why they put yeah. Van Helsing under the mattress, but regardless, that's where he placed him. Okay, and then Lucy reveals herself as a vampire. Yes, yes. And then Mary goes in her hallway, and I guess the house transformed? Just, like, extends. Yeah, it I extends, and has all these red curtains. But then they're all in white, which is yeah. a cool callback yeah. to the 31 Dracula. Are they that. white yet? Oh, the, I don't know if they're at some point. I, well, no, I think it is in that scene when they're in the white veil things. No, Jennifer Esposito's in <clears throat> white. I don't think they did their costume change yet. I think that oh, comes in a few scenes. I think, okay. I think Vitamin C is wearing like a nightgown and Jennifer Esposito's character is wearing like a white medical thing. Oh, that uh, makes but sense. But I think Jerry Ryan's still wearing her outfit. I don't think they did their outfit change, but they're all there now. Yeah, they're all there. And they're all like, we love Dracula. You're, he likes you more than us, though, and we're suddenly jealous about this man <laughs> yeah. that we just met who killed us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then we get a, a wolf Dracula chasing them. Yep, had to and, throw that in there. Yeah, and Simon shoots. Well, this is pretty cool. Simon goes to shoot wolf Dracula, and it turns into bats Dracula. Yeah, that like, was cool. That's like an that. awesome shot. Yeah, that's is. an awesome it shot. It looks really good, too. Yeah. I'm really impressed with that. And then she ends up reading her dad's journal, and she gets brought up to speed. She, like... Knew which journal entry to read on which day. Yeah, like, come on. You know how many thousands of entries there probably is? Yeah. Good Lord. Yeah. And it's like, this is like from when she was a kid, I yeah. guess. And it's like, wait a minute. Um, How did, anyway, <laughs> like, like it all yeah. fit into that one journal he's been writing every day. Oh, yeah. Wait a second. That's, that's a little fishy right there. Yeah. I don't like that. Oh, and then I have in my notes here, Simon gives his backstory, and then I have, 
but who cares? Yeah, that's right. Who cares? Apparently, he was a piece of shit. Van Helsing gave him a job. That's right. Christopher McD- McDonald, McDonald, older brother, Batman and Robin's older brother, basically. Batman and Robin's. Older. Yeah, the the Robin. He looks exactly Chris like Chris O'Donnell. Chris O'Donnell. That's what his name is. It's like Christopher McDaniel. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Chris O'Donnell, knockoff. Get out of here. They're trying to figure out how to stop Dracula, and they're going through like. The religious stuff that hurts him. They're like, sunlight, this, this, this. Like, what's the deal with silver? Why does that work? What is the religious connection? And then someone who went to Catholic school just went, he's Judas. Yep. He's Judas. Yep. He's Judas. But the movie assumes that not everyone knows that. Of course. So, so we're there going, Judas. But the movie's like, hmm, who could it be? Yeah, and it's like, yeah. well, you're showing a picture of The Last Supper, and he just mentioned Silver. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is connected to Judas. Uh, but no, we have to wait to get there, apparently. Yes, we do. So while they're doing all this religious investigation, Dracula shows up. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she, like, runs out of there. And then, like, he Simon grabs a Bible. And then, I don't know what, he, he all opens it? Yeah, he just yeah. opens it, and the page is Fly out like Harry Potter. Is that a trick Bible? What was that? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I thought it was a paper cut. Uh, yeah, and then it touches Dracula <laughs> yeah. and they light on fire. Yeah, I'm like, I don't what the hell was know. this gag here? Yeah, I don't understand what this was. So yeah, she runs into a cemetery. Because when I'm hiding from the undead and someone who can like <laughs> bring back corpses and whatnot, I know he doesn't really do it like that, but if I if I'm hiding from an, an undead guy, I'm probably not going to the cemetery. No, no. She hides in, like, a, a tomb for, like, a second. He just pulls her right out. Dude, that scene is so gross because she breaks through yeah. and she just sticks her hand in, like, goo, which is what happens to our bodies. Yeah. And she just pulls her hand out with the goo and she's not even concerned. I mean, given Dracula is chasing her, so yeah. I, I probably wouldn't be concerned either. But yeah. it did gross me to hell out. That is pretty gross. So disgusting. <laughs> I heard something recently. Apparently, the people who were, like, freezing themselves... So they can be brought back later. Apparently, like a lot of the early ones have now turned to goo or something. I didn't fact I didn't follow up on that story. I saw that pop up somewhere. And I'm like, well, that's gotta suck. Well, you just spent all that money and now you're, you're frozen, but you're still decomposing just slowly. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. Now Ugh. you're just like jelly. Yeah. Frozen jelly. <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> Okay, now the brides are even hotter in their white Dude, gowns. Fuck yeah, they're and they're, smoke they're shows. killing like everyone in the crowd. Like Simon's Simon's the only one who's seeing them like bite people. Um, and I guess are those people also turning into vampires? Is only Dracula the one who could turn people into vampires? Uh, you know, I'm I'm going as far as to say that once you're infected, you got the power. I could be wrong about that. Yeah, but they don't have all his powers. Like, they can't turn into bats and stuff, so... They might have the power to turn other people into vampires. I'm not sure how deep their powers go. But Mm. if that's the case, this is a worldwide pandemic, man. Yes. Like... Well, that's why I think maybe only he can do it. It's one of those, It's one of those, like, the leader vampire Mm. thing. That might be the case. Um, They tackle Simon. They get him uh, cornered. And he takes out poor Jerry Ryan. (laughs) Yeah. Puts a spike right between those bad boys. Dude, big time, <laughs> man. Ugh, and then real. they don't kill him. They just knock him out. Yeah, what, what's the point <laughs> of that? Like, come on, dude. Come on, man. It just pisses me off. They wanted to save him for the big finale. Oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> save you for the main feast. Like, uh, Dracula uh, bites Mary and reveals his secret backstory. Dude, shocker. He's Judas. Wow. <laughs> Dude, they show a lot of the backstory. I felt like I was watching yeah. The Passion of the Christ for a yeah. second. I was except, like, what the hell's going on here? Except um, The Passion of the Christ, I think they filmed the crucifixion um, on location and not a very obvious soundstage. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Uh, no, I don't know. And a very obvious fake beard, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's an <laughs> obvious soundstage. Dude, the hanging scene looks so bad. Bad and look, look. Bram Stoker's Dracula had obvious soundstage, but all of that movie was done on a set, and yeah. you're introduced into that movie with like a soundstage. You get used to it by then. But this yeah, is this one, this bad. is late in the movie to show a very obvious soundstage that what? doesn't match anything in the film. <laughs> one of the worst I've seen. Yeah, it I'm like, bad. ah, this is taking me out of yeah. it. This like looks like a Saturday Night Live no, skit. What yeah, is that's this? Exactly what it looks like. Um, 
So, yeah, I guess he uh, was sad that he betrayed Jesus, and then he went to kill himself, but I guess heaven won't have him. Like, I guess his curse is that they're not going to let him die. So the rope breaks, and he's just cursed to live forever as a vamp. But it also, you get magical powers from that. Yeah, like... We brought this up in the Dracula review. I'm like, okay, so if you hate God and denounce him, you also get to turn into a bat and fly and shit. I'm like, that sounds pretty good. I'm yeah, not gonna lie. You get all these great things you never ate. I don't want to be sacrilegious, but living forever and being able to fly, it sounds having three wives, that sounds pretty <laughs> awesome. <laughs> having three wives. Three wives that you could silence at any time. <laughs> like <laughs> sounds pretty good. Have the chance to hypnotize women like that? Dude. Yeah. Good lord. Yo, my Tinder game would be unreal. (laughs) (laughs) Unreal, dude. Oh, my good lord. You're like, I like long walks on the beach at night, though. Yeah, Uh. of course. Yeah, yeah. That's right. We ain't going out for daytime coffee, that's for sure. Unless it's rainy. Yeah, Why don't exactly. we ever go? It's going to be nice this week, and we should go out. Nah, nah, it's going to be nice. We can't go out. Yeah, exactly. We're staying in. There's a hurricane coming in a week. We can go out then. Yeah, we can go out then. <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> so he just hates God, and he's being betrayed or whatever, cursed for all eternity. Yep. Mary's now a vampire, and they want her to eat and like infect Simon. Yeah. I'm like, we have them all tied up for you. Make nice him a special treat. Yes. So she she bites him. She uh she bites him and then she's just like, hey, even if he's a vampire, he's still gonna hunt us because he's loyal to Van Helsing. I really want to cut his head off. Yeah, fuck yeah. And Dracula's like, I believe you because I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah. How dare he be deceived? Yeah. Can you imagine people who get deceived easily, Tony? It's unreal. I it's fucking real. Look, you know, I don't know how you tricked me in Mrs. Dalfire <laughs> with those special effects. But you definitely haven't tricked me since then. Nope, never. Because if you were lying to me, Santa, my good friend Santa, who was definitely here, he would have told me because he knows if you've been bad or good. That's right. So. That's right. Yeah. Anyways. Fool me once. Shame on you. (laughs) Fool me (laughs) twice. Fool me. Don't get fooled again. That's right. All right. God bless George Bush. (laughs) So. I like uh, they bend him over and she's going to cut his head off. And then Lucy looks. And she's like, wait a minute. His neck's not cut. She must have like bit her lip and just put blood on there. Yep. Bitch is fake. <laughs> Lucy's like gone. Dude. <laughs> just dust, Deadsville. Dude. Holy shit. <laughs> that was brutal. And then so the remainder of this is uh, Simon fighting Jennifer Esposito. Yep. And then awesome. Mary doing wire foo with Dracula. <laughs> so She's doing bad. backflips. Oh, it's so bad, dude. She's really mobile in those like platform sandals that she has. <laughs> <laughs> really? Her body's just like stiff while yeah. she's doing these. <laughs> God damn. Doing backflips and wire foo. It's so stupid. And then um what'd you call it? I think he gets the crossbow on Jennifer Esposito. And then she like tries to like win him over. And he's like, this better be good. And then she like does like a one liner, is like, nap. Nah, yep, boom. <laughs> Dead. And then so Mary realizes I should hang Dracula. I don't know how she came to that conclusion. Well, then she has the whole thing where she's like, You should probably ask for forgiveness instead of hating God, and then maybe you'll finally rest. And he's like, I don't want to hear that. Yeah, come on, like, that's some you ever, shit. Do you ever think if you hate your life so much, maybe if you just did this, you'd at least go to hell, I guess. Yeah, but I, I mean, know. you were friends with Jesus for a while before that whole betrayal. Yeah, you was, might that's not right. go to, if anything, you made it worse. If you went to hell, you might have like been like, okay, well, you're in like the country club prison to <laughs> hell. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You fucked celebrity up. Celebrity ward. You fucked up, but that also kind of had to happen, so you kind of helped us out. So we're gonna send you to the, the yeah celebrity hell. Yeah. Wait a second. Yeah, that it kind of all worked out because like Jesus, you know, ended up. And Dracula like, calls out. He's like, "Wait a minute! I technically he did. Was someone else supposed to do it? Is that why I'm being punished? Yeah, <laughs> yeah someone else had the role. And yeah. Of, it was supposed to be Phil down the street. Like either way, it was supposed to happen. That was kind of the plan. <laughs> Uh, but instead, he became a Dracula, and he went around killing a bunch of people. And it's like, well, now you're going to bad hell. You could have been in country club hell. 
<laughs> uh, so yeah, then she hangs him on the Jesus, the neon Jesus sign, uh, which collapses, and he's being hung. And I guess he's allowing himself to die now, because then he releases her of her vampire curse right before he dies. Yeah, yes, which is very nice character development there. Yeah. Right. So was it the hanging that killed him or the sun lighting him on fire? Because I thought nothing could kill him unless he finally made peace with God. Well, Maybe unless the the hanging was the only way to kill him, but the hanging had to happen after the initial hanging. You know, because the initial mm. hanging is what gave him the thing, but then to get the th- to get rid of the thing, he had... You know, I don't know what the hell is going on here. <laughs> I really. think maybe her letting him know... He's got to ask forgiveness. And I think maybe being hung and looking at Jesus, that's where he's like, I guess I'll try it. And then oh, that's what finally yeah. released him. Okay. Maybe that's what it was. Look, I didn't, wa- I didn't watch Dracula 2 or 3. I don't know where this story goes no. and how they wreck on this. I don't know. But, but I think that's what led out. to believe. He, Dracula is finally at peace with what he did, and he's allowing himself to die. I'm just saying the cops that work the next morning that got to find this. They're going to have a shard, lot of questions. They're going to be like, what the <laughs> hell went on over here? And now, oh, by the way, the tomb was at the Dracula vault was at Carfax Abbey, which I guess they turned. It, uh, yeah, they're not. They're not using the thing from the lore where he needs to be buried in his soil. Yeah, they, like, they completely skipped that. Yeah. Because Carfax Abbey, that's where he sent all his soil. Well, he sent it over multiple places, but that was like his hub. Yeah. Uh, So it made sense to put his vault there, I guess. Actually, it would make more sense to put his tomb somewhere else where his soil isn't, so he dies. But whatever, whatever. They got rid of the soil rule for this. Yeah, they did. But the corpse is back at Carfax Abbey. Yep. Just in case there's a little bit of Dracula left, they'll be able to watch him. And now Mary is Mary Van Helsing. Yeah, fuck yeah. And she's also Blade, because I guess she still has some vampire powers. Yes, exactly. I'm assuming now, because, like, the dad had to inject. I guess she just doesn't have to inject. I don't think she needs to, no. No, I think she was born naturally with it. Because mm. Dracula's like, I was been looking for someone who wasn't turned, but was born like me. Because mm. he wasn't turned. He just became, like, I guess the first vampire. Mm, okay, the original. Unless, I mean, how many other vampires are there out there? There were a lot of people who were mean to Jesus. I don't know how many vampires there are out there. Wait a second. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's probably a couple of dickheads. There's probably know? a bunch of, like, Roman soldiers out there. We're like, I didn't know it was God. I wouldn't have been so mean to him. What about the guys that crucified him? Yeah. What happened to those dickheads? Good, there's a lot of questions. I, got, I need answers to these questions here. There might have been one guy who was like, your hair looks bad today. Jesus. Vampire, is that a vampire. Do your thing, man. Do the thing to this fucking guy. It's silly. The guy that stabbed him. Come on. Yeah. Get out of here. Were those guys? Are they using the Nuremberg defense? We're just following orders. <laughs> yeah, Did exactly. they get away with that one? <laughs> <laughs> I guess maybe they have a like. Look, we don't know. Like, we're just told what to do. Maybe they get immunity. I don't know. They're like, okay, that well, that's technically killing. You're going to hell, but you know, you didn't know what you were doing. Judas was. I guess Judas. It's like. Well, you kind of knew who he was. You probably should have betrayed him. <laughs> I don't know. That's kinda, that story doesn't always make sense to me. I'm like, wait, you saw that guy like doing all that magic, and you're like, well, I just need to pay the rent this month. <laughs> like, what the hell? Yeah, literally, for like 15 <laughs> gold pieces. Like, come, dude, how long is that actually going to last you? 30. I'm sorry. I, I misspoke. <laughs> how long is that actually going to last you? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I don't know. Good Lord. Anyway, that's Dracula 2000. Wow. Got a little little catholic toward the end there yeah uh <laughs> yeah it did <laughs> didn't expect that every time i watch this movie i always forget about the whole christianity thing that i know like, i was watching it. i was like what the hell's going on here at least the coppola movie they throw that stuff in the beginning yeah they do yeah this one it's like toward the end like by the way it's judas it's like where did the name dracula come from yeah, where come does this on. shit <laughs> come on um was that his nickname <laughs> <laughs> Judas, he's always dragging his feet. We call him Dragula, yeah. and then over years it became Dragula. That's his street name. <laughs> his Roman street name. Anyway, Dracula 2000. It's ridiculous, but it's actually 
better than it has any right to be. No, I completely agree. Entertaining movie. Yeah, it, like you said, it is a time capsule. Yeah, it is. <laughs> totally. I think I think it ends with a Linkin Park song. It does, man. Everything you say to me. <laughs> Dude, this fucking movie is a blast. It is I like, loved it. It was like it was definitely like a nice goodbye to the 90s. It, it really was. sums up everything with the 90s. It does. Like man. wanting to take old things and give them hip makeovers. Hip and happening, baby. <laughs> hip, hip and, and happening. Happening. It's kind of like the faculty. Like the faculty was like a fun nineties yeah. movie, and this I get the same vibe from this movie. And too. again, it's like yeah, like we want to take this old thing. I mean, Coppola already did it, but they're like, but we're gonna make it even better, Dude, yeah. even more like in the now. Fuck yeah, Coppola was all artsy. Ours is gonna be cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is a fun time. I'm surprised more people don't like bring this one up. I'm surprised. I never, like I said, I never heard of this movie yeah. until you mentioned it. So glad I, yeah, I so watched you it. You consider like all the actors in it. Like, sure, Loaded. probably didn't do like great at the time, like faculty. But no, like, I'm it's sure. weird. It's not even like more of a cult thing now. I know. I like I said, I've never mm. even heard anybody no. even talk about it, and I was shocked after I watched it because this is fun. Yeah, it's, it's fun. Really fun. Maybe it's one of those things where like, it's not exactly great, but it's also not like bad enough to make fun of. Maybe that's, that's where it gets lost in that kind of thing. But it's also not, like, boring. It's a fun time. Maybe we'll start a revolution. Maybe we'll we'll get this trend <laughs> justice for Dracula 2000. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, I think in the future on Patreon we should uh, explore the second and third ones. See, I would love to do that. we got to see where the story goes. I know. I have so many questions, and I need answers now. Does Mary come back? I don't know. What, what happened to Lucy? Yeah. You know? Well, she's dead. <laughs> well, you know, she could come back. She could come back. Because if Dracula, Dracula, comes, Dracula back, comes back, who's to say, you know, the, the wives don't come back? Oh, man. But yes, that was a fun time. Happy New Year, everyone. Let us know what your resolution is. Obviously, Joey, we know what yours is to be more manly. That's right, baby. Uh, Joey C, where can we find you? You can find me at youtube.com slash official Joey C. Lots of fun stuff. Joey, there, can folks. you say that again? Because even though it's been silent this whole time, my phone just went off. Oh, in the yes, middle of, of your course. Pitch. Of course. So start that over again. You can find me at youtube.com slash official Joey C. Lots of fun stuff there, folks. I'd love to see you there. Okay. Yes. Follow me wherever I am. Uh, in public, just walk <laughs> behind me. Uh, no, follow me on uh, X, Instagram. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out our Patreon. I hope you all had a good Christmas. Again, Santa. Oh, yes, the merch store. Sorry, I forgot Joey C is wearing this beautiful shirt, the Tony Peaks design, a fan favorite shirt. Uh, get yourself some merch. Hopefully, you got some merch for Christmas. But, you know, if your family hates you and they didn't buy you a shirt, you can go buy that shirt now. Treat yourself, um, baby. And again, I hope your Christmas was good. I hope your Christmas was good, Joey C. Oh, it was fantastic. I loved every minute of it. Oh, man, I, I hope Santa was good to you. Dude, he I was mean, great to me. He my, he got me my friend back, man. He did. That was the ultimate Christmas Dude, gift. Dude, that was. Nothing better than Tony from Hack the Movies. Oh, man, I hope <laughs> Santa comes back next year. I, I think he will, Tony. I didn't even know he was real until he showed up in my store. I know. It's crazy. I think he'll be back. <laughs> so, yeah, the holidays are over. 2024. I can't wait to see what it has in store. I didn't mean to rhyme, but I realized I was going there and I was went for it. That's it from us. Goodbye. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talking, talking about tapes.